Northwestern will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Scrambling. He's taken down at the 30 yard line. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. Slings it, and down he goes at the 33 yard line. first down with that run from the halfback. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Call the game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. That makes it 37. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Hey, check Mike 46. And that's going to bring up fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. What a collision! Northwestern's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. For Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Here's the halfback. From their own 15-yard line. Second down. And he's level at the 30. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. He's to the 40, and he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. There was a defender right in his face that time. You have a great concentration by the receiver to come away with this ball. Nice job. Tackle at the 46-yard line. He's out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Not a bad return. 
This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Caught again at two yards. That makes it second and eight. On the ground, right side. He's to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds around the 48-yard line. Some guys are dangerous no matter where they are on the field. Whether they have speed, elusiveness, great vision, whatever the case may be, you have to find ways to get the ball in their hands. And he's taken down at the 42. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line. Quick throw, brought down right around the 32-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 28. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. That's a great tackle at the 28. Number 92 on the tackle at the 28 yard line. Hey, check Mike that brings up second and nine. Gets out to around the 12. Gets hit out of bounds at the six. That'll make it second and four. Check by 46. All day, all day, all day. He's taken down around the one yard line. And he hits the PAT. An 11 play, 73 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, seven nothing. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They hand it off. He takes it right side for a good game. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. So at the end of one quarter, Washington leads it 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Four down, four down. We got Mike T right here, guys. Mike T. Set. 10 20. 10 20. Hey, if you kill hey, it, check, 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 check. Hey. And he's immediately tackled. Number 10. Tens the mic. Tens the mic. Tens 
And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Has some daylight. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Down! Bruin! They'll get him for a loss. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. And down he goes at about the 25-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. and run up the gut. Gaining four yards. That brings him second and five. Go down, go down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Here he goes. The five. Touchdown, Northwestern. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A nine play, 76 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. They get a tie game at 7 7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Quick throw. He's tackled to the 38 yard line. He goes out of bounds at the 43. He's tackled immediately after the catch. They stopped for a six-yard loss on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. So we're looking at another third down here. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He really got a hold of that one. He fields the punt at the 16, brought down at the 24-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Steps out of bounds at the 27. Quick pass. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Watch 
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. You wonder if they'll go to the no huddle here. There's not a lot of time left. Second down and five. Ball on the 41-yard line. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Throws complete, and he's got a space to work. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's at the 40, and they push him out at the 40-yard line. That's just a well-executed screen pass. They had the blockers in front, and they got it to him with room to run. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Very good tackle in space. That makes it first and 10. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at the 18. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Just gets rid of it. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Northwestern could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. It's the tailback. Number 25 with the run. Call the game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Four down, four down. Hey, check, down. check. Let's go, hey, check, check. Down. Down. Blue down. 42. Texas. Blue 42. Hut. Hut. Hey, check, 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 check. Hey, X, X, go, X, go. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. He'll get the call again. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Just a good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire him up. Booming kick. And he's taken down at the 38. Well, we're headed to halftime now. We're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. The Wildcats with a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Let's not get too carried away by the numbers, but both of these teams averaging less than six yards per pass. It 
it's an indication, it seems, that maybe there's not the personnel out there that really scares this defense that can really stretch the defense. Yeah, we talk about it all the time, having those big-time speed guys and those playmakers on the outsides that, that really make the cornerbacks bail and take away the deep ball. And they're not scared right now. They're just squatting on the outside and saying, you're not going to run by me. You're not going to throw it deep. And all I'm going to do is try to make sure that you catch the underneath stuff and wrap you up and tackle you. So somebody has to emerge as a playmaker, and you have to find the playmakers down the field to make some big home run plays. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a cycle. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he has it on the corner. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 44-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Good, solid return that time. Northwestern has a three-point lead. They hand it off. And he tackles him hard at the 41. That's a game of 15. First down. Check, check, Sam. It's broken up. Your instincts tell you to go for the pick. You've got to make the best play you can. And sometimes it's just batting the ball away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. He's on the run. Tackle around the 23-yard line. That's good for the number two yards. First down. Check it. Blue Knight. Tackle made around the 19-yard line. That makes it second and six. Mike 10, Mike 10. Inside the 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's on a move. Touchdown. And that's as pretty an option play as you'll ever see. It took all fall practice for the quarterback and the halfback to get their timing down. But man, do they look good now. And he tacks on the extra point. A six play, 56 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The score now, 17-7. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get Blue back 14. in the game. Blue 14! And they make the stop at the 37. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Brought down right around the 42 yard line. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Oh, excellent punt. 
Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He's taken down at the 30. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. Number 37 brings him down at the 36-yard line. First down. He's into the open field. That brings him second and five. Yeah, let's get a sack lunch. Check. Check. Right Oklahoma. Right line. Line. He zips it. Number 14 was the intended receiver. It's third and five. Ball on their own 41. from the pressure. I Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. They get this one off and it's a beauty. And he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. Really questionable decision to field the ball there. Tough to get traction or even maintain your grip on the ball. That could have turned out even worse than it did. He's got it out to his tight end. Still dragging guys. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. Hands it to the back. That makes it second and six. Here they come, and he's going to come up with a sack. That is a loss of seven on the play. That'll make it third and 13. So that sack will back them up a little now. And they're looking at a difficult third and 13. They'll spread the field with five wide. Set, move, Throws it deep. Catches it for the 10. Touchdown, Huskies. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he converts the extra point. So a four-play, 74-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. And they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Northwestern is up a field goal. Gets out to around the 35. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. That'll make it second and inches. He might have a chance. Number two, two Michael Kiffer. Kiffer. Woo, defense, let's Game go. Nine, let's go. go. That brings up second and one. Hey, set. He's gobbled up in the backfield. 
There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he's level at the 48. Good for a game, six yards. That makes it first and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's scrambling. And he's sacked. Well, these kind of plays result in a lot of confidence from this defense and the defensive coordinator. I will not be surprised to see this defense continue to bring this kind of pressure against this offense. Second and long. Ball on their own 47. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Northwestern holds a field goal lead. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. That'll make it 77. Gets it to his tight end for a first down. He showed some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 17-14. Wildcats. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Four down, four down. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Set. Oklahoma. Hut. And he's stopped behind the line. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. Great tackle at the 26. Fourth and long here after the sack. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. quickly to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 36. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Scrambling around. Steps out of bounds, right around midfield. That makes it second and eight. Him hard at the 47 yard line. Call it again in three yards. That'll bring up third and four. Check my 46. 
And he is drilled at the 48 yard line. Lost five yards. That'll bring my fourth and nine. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Northwestern with a six-point lead. Makes it out to about the 29. That brings up second and nine. tackled right away. Pass complete there for about two yards and a first down. Nice play there to move the chains and keep the drive rolling. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. Slings it. Tackle the 39-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Set. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Hey, 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 polar bear, polar bear. Hut. Oh. 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 Now he's scrambling. And they get the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Tackle made at the 39. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough chill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. They come out in a five-wide set. Nice play across the middle, and he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 41. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 41. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. Got it. Tight ends got the first. And he's immediately tackled. Brought down at about the 23 yard line. Knocked out of bounds at the 19-yard line. From the 19-yard line, second down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Gets it out to him again. He's 
hit and taken down. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third and goal, and they can already taste the lead. We have less than a minute to go. It's caught, and we are all tied up, folks. They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Northwestern's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Good tackle there in space. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. He's got it with room to run. That tackle just sealed the deal. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 21-20, Husky. And the Northwestern Wildcats. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.